What is a gamma ray burst and what causes it? What's the first thing that comes to mind when you read or hear the term gamma rays? If you're a die-hard admirer of the superhero realm, then you'd instantly associate gamma rays with the Incredible Hulk. However, if you're a physics nerd, then you'd say that gamma rays lie on an extremity of the electromagnetic spectrum, and are the most energetic waves that we know. And if you're really into space and astrophysics, then you have surely heard the term gamma ray burst quite frequently. So, first of all we will learn what a gamma ray is. Gamma rays are a type of electromagnetic radiation that is released upon the radioactive decay of an atomic nucleus. You see, an atom consists of a nucleus, which contains protons and neutrons. In most naturally occurring nuclides, the configuration of these subatomic particles is stable. Gamma rays, on the other extremity of the spectrum, have high energy photons. These rays have a high penetrating power and, since they can ionize other atoms, they are very dangerous if you are directly exposed to them. That was a little background about gamma rays, but now let's move on to the main question. What are gamma ray bursts? As the name clearly implies, a gamma ray burst is a high energy explosion that occurs in space. Commonly abbreviated as GRB, these are the most powerful blasts in the cosmos, and the dazzling flash of gamma rays fills up our sky at least once every day. Gamma ray bursts can last for as little as a millisecond to as long as a few minutes. The location and time of the occurrences of GRBs can never be predicted. Now, the most notable thing about a gamma ray burst is that it is insanely energetic. They're so powerful that even supernovae appear weak in comparison. To get some idea of the amount of energy we're talking about here, consider this. The amount of energy that a gamma ray burst generates in 10 seconds is more energy than the sun will emit in its entire lifetime. Why don't we see GRBs with naked eyes? As mentioned earlier, gamma rays bursts occur at least once every day. Yet, given the fact that they're so powerfully explosive and their flashes appear in the sky, why don't we actually see them? We can't see them because gamma ray bursts consist of gamma rays, which belong to that part of the electromagnetic spectrum that we cannot see with our naked eyes. In fact, we are blind to almost the entire spectrum, except for a very small range of light that we refer to as visible light. That's why we cannot see gamma rays bursts with the naked eye. Why do gamma rays bursts occur? There are a few hypotheses that attempt to explain the reason behind the occurrence of gamma ray bursts. One theory argues that GRBs occur as a result of collisions between neutron stars collapsed cores of humongous stars. Another hypothesis proposes that they are the result of emerging between a black hole and a neutron star or the merging of two black holes. Another hypothesis that has been getting a lot of attention proposes that a gamma ray burst occurs when the material from a hypernova which is at least 100 times more powerful than a supernova hurtles towards Earth at the speed of light. The Swift Gamma Ray Burst Mission, an unmanned spacecraft launched in 2004 by NASA in a bid to study the gamma ray burst slash black hole connection, has been in orbit for more than a decade and has spotted more than 1,000 GRBs since its inception. Here is an illustration of the GRBs that it has spotted all around our galaxy. And also, gamma ray bursts are known as the strongest and brightest explosions in the universe, thought to be generated during the formation of black holes. So, you may think why I used the sentence, Death from Space as the title of this video. I used it because, scientists believe that if a gamma ray burst hits on the Earth, it is able to destroy the whole Earth in few seconds. So it is not such a wonderful thing. How a gamma ray burst affect life on Earth? Current estimates are that a gamma ray burst will happen in our galaxy, or in a nearby galaxy, about once every 5 million years. However, it's pretty likely that the radiation would not have an impact on Earth. It has to happen pretty close to us for it to have an effect. It all depends on the beaming. Even objects very close to a gamma ray burst can be unaffected if they're not in the beam path. However, if an object is in the path, the results can be devastating. 
there is evidence that suggests that a somewhat nearby GRB could have occurred about 450 million years ago, which might have led to a mass extinction. However, the evidence for this is still sketchy. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this video, make sure to tell your ideas about this video. Thanks for watching.